do you have bad neighbors you know parking loud music hygiene bad civic sense quarrels domestic violence maybe now multiply this by 20 maybe maybe 50 cuz that's what govind biswas the artist of this work goes through even in his happiest moments while painting this is what he thinks of can you imagine हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज गोविंद विश्वास और आप देख रहे हैं आर्ट हिस्ट्री प्लस चैनल यदि आप आर्ट के विषय में और जानकारी चाहते हैं तो इस यूट्यूब चैनल को ज़रूर सब्सक्राइब करें और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर करें लाइक करें और बेल आइकॉन को ज़रूर दबाएं। थैंक यू सो मच धन्यवाद This is Vaibhav Raj Shah from Art History Plus. In this episode, we're discussing supremacy in reality, an acrylic work by Govind Biswas. Now, imagine a gangs of Wasepur scenario: family feuds, local mafia, Gunda Raj, scorching heat, barren land, panchayats. You get it, the wild, wild east. But this is not a movie. This is real. set in ambikapur sarguja district in chatisgarh govin told me that he is the narrator of the events of a small village and an artist of the happenstance of this land the land that he belongs to or so he thinks <laughs> i'll explain the artist's grandfather came from a powerful politically influential family owning land govin though derives his power by his artistic foundation which is from the baroda school of narrative painting which is what this painting is based on the crude reality of a place and its people is what this artist is talking about a lawless land where there is no government no control where man faces man and fights for his own right these memories of homeland hover over his mind as he recollects what it means to call a place home he remembers huge havelis proud guns on display and demarcations line of control in order to create an ambiance of this feeling the houses exist in mere space without a ground look the ground is painted like the sky free clean open and borderless <laughs> artistic sarcasm at its best the absolute opposite is true though this is created through the use of acrylic paints done in a wet on wet technique mixing paint while the base coat is wet the colors merge naturally there is limited control where the paint goes is up to gravity gravity hey look floating homes there is no permanence to the houses no sense of home and overarching pressure of losing one's own home and one's own land exists he feels like a refugee at all times This heavy past of Govind's life drives this work of art. There is a strong and aggressive political air, but no traces of organized government. The lines in the painting do not join, the villages do not meet. Is this psychologically scarring and sad? Yes. Of course. In the hearts of the inhabitants exists pain and trauma. Govind is almost looking at his village from a bird's eye view, like from a flight. He acknowledges his past from a real realm of acceptance but at the same time distaste. Now, imagine living with the fear of losing one's own land, the haven that we call home. We would never know. So, you got neighbors like this? Oh yeah. And that damn gun. I'm not sure if it's Govins or his neighbors though. Please subscribe to Art History Plus. Please like, comment and please share this video. Thank you.